Mary's hiding. Live in 22 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. seconds, Mary. Okay. Oh, we're live. Quiet on the set, everybody. Quiet on the set. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Everybody to your positions. It says live. Hi, everybody. It says on live video, so that must mean we're on. Yeah, it's counting up now. So where is everybody? We're here. We're here. Where are you guys? Maybe it doesn't tell us. I'll click and watch, then I can tell. Where is everybody? We're here. We're here. Where are you guys? <laughs> what is deja vu? <laughs> Deja vu all oh. over again, doesn't say her in Buffalo. <laughs> As Yogi Bear would say. Yeah, Deja vu. Yeah, a lot of these things come from Yogi Bear. All right. Well, that's what the Lounge Academy is all about. It's a, it's a learning experience for everybody. And here's, we've got, <laughs> we've got graphics. See, Lounge Academy. <laughs> Welcome to our show. It's your show, really. It's, a, it's hard to believe nobody's watching. I don't believe that. No, but that's just not true. It says one. What are they doing? Snow blowing? Uh, like, yeah, what are they doing? Who's the one who's watching? I don't know. It might be me. <laughs> you are watching. Well, a lot of people watch in reruns, so... Even if they're not watching now, they'll see this. Something to keep in mind. Is there any way to know how many people set. watch in reruns? Yeah, the thing counter keeps going up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this on. And that way I could communicate with the home audience, the lounge cadets that are home with their cats and dogs. And rats. <laughs> and rats. <laughs> Could be rats. Dude, my nieces have a pet rat. <sighs> Nelly. <laughs> <Our pet. laughs> We're here with Nelly. Ryan and Mary. Let's see, we have got the camera. Camera is needs a little adjustment. That's what we do at the beginning of the show. We bring people everything. There we go. Now we've got Ryan and the painter. We did something a little different. We, we use the Facebook um, automatic go live scheduler. So that's why we're just to see what it does. So far, it's just confusing us. <laughs> well, we're here. But it went live on schedule, didn't it? It did. Oh, okay. It worked. It's just why don't you start playing, Howard? Well, why don't yeah. you start talking and being funny? Are we, are we on? <laughs> All of a sudden, she's directing the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now see now on mine, on mine, I could see who's out there on my uh, tablet. Is someone out there? Yeah, George is out. George Barry Moore. <laughs> Hi, Barry. Hi, Barry. Oh no, he made that comment earlier. <laughs> Okay, but there's three other people that are watching now. Who are they? Uh, Mania Metzler, who's recuperating from her her jaw, uh, six million dollar man operation, and looking great. She's been posting. Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah, and, and Don Sutton. It says in three others. <laughs> if it doesn't say. Hello, three others. Now, now on our on our main screen here, dashboard, if you wish, it's not it's not telling me anything. 
you know, I, I tried this once before, and it did the same thing. And I was wondering if it would, uh, okay, now, now I can see it. Okay. Wait, now I can hear myself. Do you think that the mic is picking up that recording of the last few minutes and broadcasting it again? <laughs> yeah, well, I got all these leaky speakers around. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting, again, that's why we call it Lounge Academy. We're here to learn. You there, entertain us. And uh, my name's, I guess we'll, we'll kind of like start now. Um, you guys deserve a formal introduction, demonstration of our deep regard we have for all our lounge cadets. My name's Howard, I'm your host, and my co-hosts here at the piano with me, this is the hair cam, by the way. The reason we start with the hair cam, we have several camera angles for you, it's so we can check to make sure that my, the part in my hair is up to specification for the show, and it is, straight as a laser. And I'm gonna switch cameras so that you can see my co-hosts. I see some, some fingers coming up, thumbs. Thank you for that. Back at you, here I'll do it. Here's a finger for you, and a heart. It's not the wrong I'm not sure who sent it. <laughs> They're thumbs. They're clearly thumbs. And uh, now you can see the three of us. Just the three of us. No, oh, that was just the two of us. <laughs> Getting organized. There's a lot of paperwork in show business. <laughs> This is the corner camera. We're here with Mary Kunz Goldman and Ryan Lysar, the president of WBIG TV. Who do we have joining us? Well, we've got some people, but they they haven't spoken up. They're they're kind of bashful, so I won't call them out because sometimes they, they run away if I do that. Oh. They think we can see them scratching themselves. <laughs> <laughs> we can't. We cannot see you. But you can see us. And the only thing I can do about that is control the camera angle. Now this is the this is the shoulder cam. And we use this later on in the show when the lounge cadets who we don't we don't know who's gonna be here yet. We, no we typically go through this at this point in the show, right, Mary? We do. We have no way of knowing. No. Use, use the mic for crying out loud here. Like Al Wallach said. But we can't just see hold you. It. Just hold the mic. We can't see them. If you are sitting there in your underwear, <laughs> squeezing a can of Easy Cheese directly into your mouth, we do not see that. <laughs> we are honest, we don't. <laughs> You are perfectly anonymous. Joe Rosler's watching. I'll call him out because he doesn't care. He's squeezing the easy cheese. When, <laughs> when you're in <laughs> show business, you've sold out your... <laughs> you've sold everything out a long time ago, you know, after you made a fool of yourself. And I know this better than anybody. You just don't care anymore. What do you got to lose? So I've done that run before, so and got laughed at. So I, now I can do it with full license. I just saw a laughing face flying up, but I don't know who it is because nobody has actually it's my Nancy with the laughing punched face. in. They're out there. I see little green things that say people are watching, but it, that I that's Facebook. Uh, treachery so they could charge their advertisers more but it, it means somebody like walked through the room where their computer is oh, 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 it says that they're, they're not really in. watching necessarily they scrolled past you <laughs> yeah yeah if you scroll anywhere near us it's a very f cold night very cold right it is but We're, not as cold as yesterday 
It's not, but um, it just depends on if you're out, out in it or not. Now, we were kind of not out in it, but we were. We were at the Statler before we came over to WBIG TV studios to, for an airing of this Lounge Academy episode. And uh, beautiful wedding going on. We were participating in, in that uh, musically and welcoming people to the Statler. And a lot of people were using the service doors, which I don't think they realize that those are service doors. There's the revolving doors and uh, and then there's and those are enclosed by the added uh, vestibule that they added recently in the last ten years. So if when people use those revolving doors, a lot of cold air does not does not enter the building. It, it works pretty efficiently. But if they use the yeah. service oh, doors, which are like you regular, really get the blast. You get the blast. Yeah. That's why they invented revolving doors. Oh, I didn't, didn't realize that. Yeah, you're right. so we, we yeah. got a good demonstration of yeah, they don't. revolving door technology. Get that blast of and, cold air. And we're, we're frozen. Yeah. Yeah, we kept getting those blasts. But thank goodness, um, I don't know who they are. People always say they and, and everything and, and wonder who they are. So I'm wondering who they are in this case. but. Didn't they come out with some amazing proclamation proving thousands of generations of mothers completely wrong that you don't catch a cold by, you know, exposing yourself to, to the cold? Oh, I've known about that for years. You, you've, known, uh, you've known about what? That you cannot, that but, that's a myth? Yeah, that, that's, been, that's been proven to be a myth for a while. What if you get your feet wet? Well, I don't believe it. Then why have I been telling everyone that it's <laughs> a myth for all these years? Of course, I got my feet really wet two weeks ago, and I haven't come down with a cold. So maybe it, get your feet wet. You don't well, get a cold. The extreme cold probably can reduce your immune system, your resistance. Yeah, that's what I, I would have But I don't think it by itself can make oh. you sick. But if it decreases well, your resistance, it ups the chances. What is this sudden shift in conventional wisdom about how to catch a cold? It's always been that if you, you know, expose yourself to cold or a cold breeze or wet feet or you know, everybody knows how to get a cold. But all of a sudden, those things, conventional wisdom now says, what, do you just inherit a cold? No, it's you like get DNA. it from, you get like it from this. Uh, a school or a daycare center. Yeah, you get it from a germ. It's communicable. Or if you work with someone who has children, then... That's how I always used to get them. You know, you got to keep them at a yeah. very far <laughs> distance. So it's just a part of our culture to just blame others. Like, if I catch a cold because my feet are cold, I could blame somebody's kid. Exactly. <laughs> well, I like that. I like blaming people, well, but... I. You're cold. I, I'm, I'm blameless. There's no personal oh, responsibility so you're saying, in yeah, catching a cold, cold anymore. You. you know what this is? This is a, you know, you always follow the money with these crazy things. Who's to benefit? Elka Seltzer. Right? And the Smith brothers, they're behind this. <laughs> right? They make cough drops. Yeah, because if you don't take the precautions to keep from catching a cold, trade Smith. Easy. Yeah. Trade Smith and Mark Smith. Those are the two brothers, right? Trade and Mark. It's got their, it's got their name under their pictures. And, and don't forget and Ludens. Ludens. Oh, yeah, Ludens. And, and Fisherman's Friend. <laughs> if anybody's really out there in the audience watching this live, I know there's going to be a lot of people watching it in reruns, because there always are. Um, if anybody's actually watching out live, chime in with a comment about Ludens. Were, were our mothers right that you catch a cold by exposing yourself to a draft or, a, you know, or, or dampness, those which are, which I believe. Yes. Those original cherry Ludens throat drops, those are, you know, you can't convince me that those are not just candy. Those are, I buy them just to eat them, to enjoy them. Those are great. They are tasty. You get sort of a... Uh, Altered, altered minds. No, the only active ingredient in those is pectin, 
Is that right? Yes. The same thing to make jam or yeah, jelly. Yeah, sure. Pectin is in them, and yes, that's the active ingredient. Your throat. Oh, I didn't know. Is that a kind of like a drug, kind of a nature's drug? No, it's a the compound that's found in veg in fruits. You use it when you make jam. Yeah, if a fruit is low in pectin, you're gonna need to add it to make jam because it won't gel right. So Bill, Bill Jenkins has lots of vitamin C. You know, that was debunked too, but yeah, I I, I totally believe it. I'm with you. I'm in your camp, Bill Jenkins. Vitamin C absolutely It helps. Fortifies one I believe and it. beats back yeah. a cold. Because you know, when I was at home a few weeks ago with someone who was sick, <laughs> and I was not sick, you know, I, I just knew it was a matter of time before mm -hmm. I would get sick. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I had this craving for an orange. Mm -hmm. And I don't eat it's oranges. It's your body telling you you need the vitamin C. I never eat oranges. Oh, that's interesting. And then I had that to go out and get an orange, and I ate yeah. two oranges. Oh, and, wow. And then, I, like then I got sick. Oh, you got sick after that. But oh, I, I thought the story body. was going to be that I didn't get sick. Well, I was only sick for a couple of days. Yeah, but your body's saying you got to fortify yourself. And I've heard that, that your body requires, you, you might crave something yeah. you don't ordinarily eat because you need something in Just it. Just like pica when you eat dirt. <laughs> it's because you need iron. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, there you I go. I love that thing. Now, you had to eat now, two GT, oranges. Uh, the, the engineer, the chief engineer of WBIG TV. You must eat an orange. Your body telling you, I need an orange. <laughs> George says, I, catching a cold from a draft is highly overrated. So he's not saying, he's, he's being a little cagey in his wording, like, a, like an attorney might be. He's from not saying, you know, you're crazy if you believe that. I don't know if he's being How about the Edgar Allan Poe where he says, but the wind came out of a cloud one day, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee, in the poem Annabelle Lee. Well, she gets sick because of he was, wind. He was in my corner then. Chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. Yeah. Bill Jenkins adds uh, that he finds a blend of hot tea, honey, and wine seems to work well. Oh, that is good. You know, yeah. I made my mother a hot toddy once when she had a very, very bad cold. I, remember I just followed the joy of cooking, just mm -hmm. a little bit of brandy or whatever, and then hot water and a lemon slice. And she, she went to bed that night, slept like a log, and woke up well. <laughs> does if you're Polish, you add Krupnik. <laughs> oh, well, I've got so Krupnik good. at home. I wish I had some with me right here. That is good stuff. There's also that, I have drunk medicinally that um, Evan Williams bourbon, um, the honey flavored bourbon, that's really good too. I'm talking to the mic, Marion. That's, that's really good too, and it is just so delicious that it cheers you up. So the bad yes. news is you're up at three in the morning and you gotta work the next day, but the good news is, oh, this Evan Williams honey bourbon is really good. And it makes you happy and you go to sleep and you wake up and you feel better. <laughs> Or you can have some Baron Yager. Baron Yager Meister. Baron Yager. Baron Yager. It's a bottle shaped like a, a beehive. Oh. And it has bears on it. We gotta get that. Sounds like it has honey in it. Yes. yes. Oh, then where, do, where can it be had? Can you find it around here at Premier or at yes. Yes. At Premier? Yes, you can. Whereabouts? Right next to the Krupnik. I have never seen it. Is it, is it kind of a variation oh, on get what that. Krupnik Baron, is? Yes. <laughs> like bear hunter. Now, now, you just, you, now you just pronounced it Krupnik. Yes. Is, is that the, uh, the Polish way, the correct way? Because I thought it was Krupnik. Well, I've heard the it. The Polish people that introduced me to it. I, I'm, I am Polish, yeah, but I, I don't know how to pronounce Polish things. Mm -hmm. My mom's side came right over off the boat. But so if you say Krupnik it's, or Krupnik, whatever you say is correct. So, you so you're not sure is what you're saying. It's Kru I always Krupnik, heard Krupnik or Krupnik. Krupnik. I always heard Krupnik, but maybe we try to pronounce things more correctly now, so maybe if it's Well, Krupnik. Ryan's the second person that I heard uh, it pronounce Krupnik. it as Krupnik recently. Maybe it depends on what part of Poland you're from. That could be. That could be. could be like the Kenmore part of Poland pronounces yeah. it one way. Yeah. And then the uh, Tonawanda part of Poland, Poland, yeah. would pronounce things like me. <laughs> the Tonawanda part of Poland. Yeah, I, I believe with Bill Jenkins, you just follow the money, you know. Obviously, they're trying, they want us to get colds. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> All of a sudden, you know, our mothers are wrong. Chicken soup doesn't work. You know, it does work. Yes, it does. No, they have proven that it does work, actually. It does something with the membrane. Especially if it doesn't soup. not so well. No, I love those. First time I had matzo ball soup, I couldn't believe it. This huge. It looked like a softball. <laughs> so, yeah. Have you ever made matzo ball soup? I have never made it. We got to make it sometime. But I've had a lot of it. Yeah, I'd like to make it. How do they make that huge dumpling that sits in it? It was so funny. I, don't, I, I don't couldn't know. get over it. I was I burst out laughing the first time. It's not just this giant big like ball of stuff sitting in this. Thing. You can get a, a good bowl of matzo ball soup right down the street from here. Where's that? At Risa's. Oh, Risa's is right down the street. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. We need it. It's down the street. Bill Jenkins is with me on the chicken soup. Now, my grandmother, when she makes her chicken soup, well, she's taken to, um, I don't know where this came about, but she likes to throw a jalapeno pepper that is good. into everything now. But it's good to get it the started, extra heat. It started with her chili. Oh. But now, if she makes chicken soup, she throws a jalapeno pepper oh. in. And the last time, she made split pea soup. She threw a jalapeno oh, pepper in there. I could see that would be good. So now every soup has a jalapeno pepper thrown in. Jalapeno well, for the jalapeno? Yeah. Jalapeno. I like jalapeno peppers because they're not just killingly hot. They're just good. You There's know. a split camera, ladies and gentlemen. I want to put some in. I can see those two this time of year. I think it protects you. Uh, now, that's another thing. The peppers protect you against getting cold. I'm inviting the home audience to suggest to me which camera angle you'd like to see. And I'll... I'll give you your own camera angle. Just send me a message, and I'll switch it. It's you can have the the corner. We call it. This is the corner. Okay. This is the shoulder. Goes over my shoulder. I named them so they'd be easy for me to remember. This is the far cam. It's from the other side of the lounge. This is the hair cam because it's you can check check my hair with it. Like that. And then this is the split cam. So there's five choices, and you could, you can be the camera uh, directors. Just let me know which camera you want, and uh, when I see the comment, I'll switch to that camera. Right now, I'll leave it on split, so you can decide. Or you don't have to, or you can just sit back, holding on to your pets in one hand, your drinks in the other. Don't mix them up. Put your pet rat on your shoulder. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan likes rats. He 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 wants. He's considering getting a pet pet rat. Are you considering? Maybe someday when I have reached that level of responsibility. <laughs> no, you, the rat needs a lot of love. I think rats are much maligned. They're very intelligent animals. Yeah. I don't doubt that. I once had a conversation with one. Yeah, he did. And we understood each other. They're at least as intelligent as a three-year-old human. Really? That's what I've read. No wow, kidding. That's really a rat smart. is as intelligent as a three-year-old child, according to Ryan's. Yeah. Now, but it's funny. It's funny well. because you know we we got our first cat we've ever had. Well, we had um, a, a cat we rescued that we had for several months before that, but. The, and then we got uh, Jeffrey, who's the, the first cat we've, we've owned, either one of us ever had in our lives. And um, I told Mary that my impression of the cat was that he had the intelligence of like a, about a three-year-old child. Um, so your, your research that yielded that a rat <laughs> has the intelligence of a three-year-old child kind of don't I think that supports my, yeah, you know, yeah, my own. Uh, well, you get the idea instincts. they understand language. Maybe a rat does too. Well, your conversation with the rat made you think he understood, didn't you? I did. We, I, we years ago, I, I was here. I'm <laughs> downtown in our studios here, and I, I came down and to check on the place or something, and uh, went behind the, the bar, and uh, I must have walked past it, because then it had me kind of 
trapped. I didn't feel trapped, but it had me trapped. All of a sudden, I hear a commotion coming over near, near the sink. <laughs> and I turn around, and, and the, there's, there's a, a rat, and he's, 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 he's kind of panicking, you know? And, um, and, you know, I was a little startled by it all, too, but I kept my wits about me, and I figured, well, one of us has to. And I, I, I spoke gently to the rat. Now, this was before I had had a lot of practice speaking gently to my cat. This was year, years before. I would love to have been a bug on the wall. And, uh, but they can understand oh, your voice, you know, yeah. and um, that's the most important thing. I mean, they underst animals understand each other. I mean, there's, there's common language between, even, even across species. Well, you could tell if a bird or any animal, if they're mad or, or, yeah, or, or, or are being aggressive or trying to communicate that they're being, you know, not going to take any of your BS. And across species and everything, we understand that, you know? So, so there's a lot of that communication that we all share, you know? So I think if, you, if you're calm with any animal, there's a good chance they'll react to that, just as we would to them if they're acting flipped out or, or aggressive, you know? So I calmed it down. I said, hey, you know, relax, you know? I said, you know, you, I get it, you know, you like it here, so do I. If it was up to me, you know, we could be roommates, you know, but it just, uh, unfortunately, I've got, you know, responsibilities, and I can't have little vermin running around here, at least not ones that I didn't invite. <laughs> And I, I said, yeah, you know, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to move out at your convenience. Because <laughs> if you stick around, it's not going to have a good ending, unfortunately, for either one of us. Because I like animals. I'd hate to, I, you know, I'd hate to have to hurt a rat. But, you know, I, I got to admit, there's been times when it's come, it's come down to where I, where I had to do do things I, I, I don't want to do, you know, so, and he could see that in me, and he, he left, and he, he chilled out and just looked at me, and he, he stopped That's panicking, funny. and then he walked away calmly, off into some hole somewhere, <laughs> and I never saw him again. Oh my goodness, he's out there somewhere. He was a good guy, yeah. yeah. I'm sure mice are smart. Freddy is the real English gentleman of the, <laughs> the creature in the wind of the world. Anybody wants a particular camera angle, just speak up at home. We'll switch it over to you. You can have the whole screen of just that camera angle. Or you might like the uh, split. Let me know which ones you like, because I don't want to change it if you know you really like the split, and then I think you need like a shoulder shot, like this. It's an interactive show. It's an interactive show, as Ryan said. Choose your own adventure. <laughs> At Lounge Academy. Ryan and Mary and me make three. So I wonder if the producers have any special uh, guests for us tonight. We never know. Every week we're sitting here opening the show, most weeks, we're opening the show wondering what, what are the surprises going to be for the night? Only time will tell, ladies and gentlemen.
Jesus. I would have thought people were getting stir crazy. Because I know I was stir crazy. Yeah, but fever. After being in the house for two days. I was in the house for two days. I did not leave until today when I came downtown here. Yeah, that was what we were yeah, concerned sure. with. Pe people, maybe the people at home, weird, the lounge cadets know. at home, could tell us because we had at our, be under house at, our happily for like at our dress <laughs> dress rehearsal earlier today. We were discussing this, and it's like there's two opposing forces tonight. There's people who have been trapped in their oh, homes for several uh -huh. days and can't wait to get out, and they're probably, you know, it's they're, they're going to want to, they're going to want to be on, on studio in Loud Academy. And then on the other hand, it's like absolute zero out, which you know normally would make you want to stay in with but your with your that, cat, that time, uh, your dog, or it rat. Is. Yeah, a couple of years ago when I was remember when I was there on a break for just weeks on The record set in 1934. Yeah, it stayed cold <laughs> for like weeks a few was, years ago. Yeah, it, it was yeah. really super cold for a while. Today it was the pipes were freezing underground. Yeah, yeah. I know. Being out there, yeah, it was up 15 degrees back. I remember George Apfel, his uh, pipes froze yeah, like we eight feet underground. Lounge Academy. It just happens. The only thing I didn't like about being outside when it was negative 25 was that my glasses were frozen oh. and I couldn't see. So why did you have to go out when it was negative 25? I went out to snowboard. Oh, okay. I figured as long as it was only negative 25, I might as well go out. Wow. I couldn't really see where I was oh. going. Did you try wiping a potato on your glass lenses? Yeah, I already heard this thing about potatoes. No, There's a hack where you can wipe That's for windshields. You, you slice a potato and then you rub the potato juicy. The cut side. You just cut, yeah, on, on the window. It's supposed to keep it from clouding oh. up. Oh yeah, right. Of, yeah. Instead of just being condensation, it was freezing. Yeah. There was a, a layer of ice. Wow. Why? God, probably just made him die. Why shouldn't I? It was happy. It was, but it is going to go out though when you're trying to beat you. Take a chance. And that's what we're wired to do. We really when romance passes by. Why shouldn't I? Oh, that's great. <laughs> no of love. Just asking everybody. But you know, all the work I did on Wednesday. Why wait around? Yeah. It actually did. It didn't snow anymore after that. When he changed, as his sage was found. On this earth, love is all that is really worth thinking of. It must be fun. Lots of fun.
songs that we're going to be covering tonight. It's just, you just don't know where to start. the winter and makes it summer. Summer could take some lessons from her. You're a tomboy in lace. Nancy with a laughing face. Ever hear 
mission bells ringing. She can give you the very same glow. Rich Sellers, ladies. I swear to goodness she can't, you can't resist her. Sorry for you. She's got no sister. No one could ever replace Nancy with a laughing face. The laughing emoji. <laughs> Well, you were talking before about the laughing face and the emoji, and I like that because it's here. That's Jimmy Van Heusen, and the surprise of this song is the lyrics were, were by comedic actor in vaudeville and uh, early television, Phil Silvers. Oh. Wrote the lyrics. Oh, wow. Those are nice lyrics. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rich Sellers is in the house. Mr. Sellers, I presume. Mr. Blues. <laughs> Just woke up. He's got his morning coffee with him. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, he's got the good morning coffee. Did you want one? No, I'm fine. There was just an accident on 990 South by the Skajako Dance. Oh. Right after that. Glad I was going the other way. Must be like icy in there. Well, I hope this song isn't... Uh, Appropriate for that because uh, it's called My Heart Stood Still. It's early really important. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about the pump on your Jeep. You oh. oh, thank you for, for offering. Um, so far, I don't. I'll let you know if I do. song. I always like this song. It's a Rogers and Hart oh, song, so they write good stuff. You know how hard it is to write a simple song that's good, you know? It's harder to be simple. Who was the writer that said uh, if he had more time, he could have written less? That was Mark Twain. Mark Twain. That's what we say in the newspaper business, that he was attributed to Mark Been Yogi Berra. <laughs> yeah, it could have been, but I think it was Mark Twain. Or Yogi Bear. <laughs> Yogi Bear. There's an enterprising guy out there in that coal. He's collecting. Uh, has he got other bags or bottles? Is he collecting bottles? I thought the ambulance was picking him up at the end of the road to, like, a shelter. To he must have refused it, yeah. He's got no hammer. Really? No, he doesn't even have a hammer. He's got all his things in a wheelchair. I saw a guy last night. I was driving my plow home from plowing out Lounge Academy's parking lot. Yeah, there was a, a guy down there at Ellen, Ellen and I think it was Allen Street in Delaware. You know, guys out there bundled up walking his dog. People got to walk their dogs like, no matter what, I guess, you know. And this big, I don't know what kind of dog it was, this big, it was a big dog. And it was blonde color. And, you know, the dog was just like, just okay with it. He's standing. I'm thinking, geez, don't, like, standing on the sidewalk, even, you would think the cold would just just freeze your paws, your little paw pads and things. Yeah. But I guess they're designed to be able to, like, handle yeah. like living course, outdoors. Of course it's like, nature has its way. Yeah. For sure. I mean, it didn't look impatient. To, to There's just, not much there. To get cold in a dog's foot, except for the, you know, the pads, the claws—they're not gonna. No, that's true. Like a horse.
course, the surface is designed for a cold too. There's nothing really there. It's like a tooth. Skin. There's no nerve. There's no nerve. You know, in this kind of weather, it's you get frosted. It's one think. of the advantages of having a big dog. A lot of road clearance. Yeah. 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 When you have a little <laughs> dog, when the, the snow is like this, they go out, they're just going to sink. But oh, you have a yeah. big dog, they can just go out there and, you know, walk around and kind of surf, do their business, and <laughs> come back in, even if there's a foot yeah, there's of snow. more clearance. Yeah, yeah a little dogs just get lost in the snow. I took one, one look at you. That's all I meant to do. And then my heart stood still. My feet could step and walk. My lips could move and talk. And yet my heart my heart stood still, <laughs> though not a single word was spoken, I could tell you knew. The heartfelt clasp of hands told me so, so you knew. Watch the whole thing. That's amazing. I do. I, sometimes I watch the rerun right through.
the movies that we know may just be passing fancies and in time may go but oh my dear our love is here to stay together we're going a long long way in time the rockies may crumble Gibraltar may tumble they're only made of clay our love is here to stay you know who wrote that one it's a Gershwin song Sensation, Richie Sellers. He learned a song for this week. He wrote one. He has original material. How far gone am I? A crooner? You're gonna sing it too? It is. Yeah. Well, stick around, every, stick around, everybody. You read all these things, and they say you can't use a jack-o'-lantern. It's jazzy. It's got a swing to it. Yeah, yeah, you can sense it. Of course. It's got a couple changes, three, four changes too. Yeah, they're delicious. I made all kinds of things for you. Here's one everybody plays at the end of their set, and they, they think they're being very original by doing that. I got one more bag, one more. But it's a good, it's a good song to end with. Alex Leonard, you don't play this as, as your last song, do you? A lot of people do. This is not my last song. Not if I could help it. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Oh, baby, though our friendship ceases from now on. And listen, if you can't say anything real nice. It's not bad. That's not bad. Best not to talk at all is my advice. You go your way, I'll go my way. It's the best we can do. Here's a kiss, hope that this brings lots of luck to you. Makes no difference how we carry on. Please don't talk about me when I'm gone. Hope that this brings lots of luck to you. Makes no difference how I carry on. Please don't talk about Lounge Academy when we're gone. Don't 
talk about us when we're gone. That's one by, who knows? Elks Leonard, do you know? Uh, yeah, that'd be fun to do. <laughs> That's okay. So have I. I won the Black Rock Pie Contest last year. Really? Yes. Do you know who wrote it? Elks Leonard? I mean, normally, you know, normally we know who, who wrote things, generally speaking, that we're playing. Although sometimes you forget after a while if it doesn't come up. But, um, I never heard of these guys. Mary, do you know who wrote this song? No. Who? What song? Please don't talk about oh. me when I'm gone. Um, no, I do not. I've never heard of these song, song smiths. Who are they? There's like a little short list here. Three people. Sidney Clare, Sam H. Stept. Oh, no, I don't know these people. S-T-E-P-T. I'm having trouble with my S's Stept. tonight. S. -S. And B. Palmer. B. E. E. Palmer. Oh, no, I don't know those names. I love the name B. E. 1927. I wonder who that is, B. Palmer. That's a long time ago. That's as long ago as when uh, Take Me Out to the Ball Game was written in 1921. Long ago and far away. Right. Oh, I love this. Yeah, I'm not surprised you had to look that one up. You know, that's a good one to file away for if you want to stump a professional. Because who would know that? I don't know. I don't even know. I'm just reading it off the, off the fake book. Don't let this happy face fool you. Gray skies are going to clear up. Pick up a big snow shovel. Brush off your windows and cheer up. Put on a happy face. Take off that gloomy mask of tragedy. It's not rich seller style, that's for sure. So good that you'll be glad you decided to smile. Pick up a pleasant lookout. Stick out that noble chin. Wipe off that full of doubt look. <laughs> Slap on a happy grin. Sunshine all over the place. Put on a happy face at Lounge Academy. Put on a happy face. Some of it and the rest is being delivered tomorrow morning. They're these big pellets. They're out there if you notice them. They're huge. It's like you could trip on them. They're so big. Yeah, you wouldn't notice them if you didn't know about them. But when you Look see at them, that. You recognize them. Is that 
Is that Kathy? Or is it Tina? Someone's out there. A lounge cadet is on their way in, Ryan. It's Tina. It's Tina, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's Tina at Lounge Academy. Tina made it out from the schoolhouse. right up the street in an old schoolhouse. It's Tina. It's Tina. It's Tina. It's Tina. It's Tina. 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 Lounge Academy. never knew what we could do. It's all on account of you. Tina. That's kind of exciting to know. People watch us in bed. We're like the Johnny Carson show. Well, people do get what, dressed up to watch Lounge Academy, and I think it's wonderful. Forklift. I, I envy a man who has a forklift. It's wonderful. Forklifts are marvelous. Tina should care for me. It's awful nice. It's paradise. It's what I love to see. You've made Lounge Academy glamorous. to Rich Sellers. It's from a show called Funny Face. Thank you. 
probably eight or words. Maybe her, his cigars bother her. Well, you'll certainly bounce back. Once Richie had a secret love. Heart of mine. All too soon, my secret love came. Impatient to be free. So I told a friendly star. often do just how wonderful you are why I'm so in love with you now I shout it from the highest hill The golden daffodil At last my heart's an open door And my secret love's no secret anymore By Sammy Fain and Paul Francis Webster Just how wonderful you are Why I'm so in love with you Now I shout it from the highest hills Even told the golden daffodils At last my heart's an open door My secret love's no secret anymore It's a really well-crafted song, I think. Yeah. of brown came tumbling down. Remember? Remember that? Seemed like a long time ago. In September in the rain the summer went just like a dying ember that September
that September before you loused it all up. I know. That's from Gold Diggers of 1935. I did not know that. Here's one we haven't done in years since it came out. Glenn Miller. Yeah, with this Mary. When I hear that serenade in blue, I'm somewhere in another world. Really? Alone with you. Sharing all the joys we used to know. Many more. And your face comes back to me Just like the theme from some forgotten melody In the album of my memories Serenade A small cafe, a crowded floor, and as we dance the night away, I hear you say forevermore, but then the song became a sigh, forevermore became goodbye, but you remained in my heart. There's still a spark, or only, only ashes of a flame we knew. Should we go on whistling in the dark? Serenade, serenade in Same song, the same movie. Another Glenn Miller. Why do robins sing in December? Long before the springtime is due. I know why, and so do you. Why the breezes sigh every evening, whispering your name as they do. And why by the feeling, stars are on my ceiling. I know why. So when you smile at me, I hear, I hear gypsy violins. When you dance with me, I'm in heaven when the music begins. When it's raining, hiding every cloud from my view. And why do I see rainbows when you're in my arms? I know why, and so do you. I
Bud Miller. Yeah, sometimes people would rather watch this from home. Than Thank you, Richie. Really? And Mary. Because it's getting warmer, but it's still not that warm. This one was from Orchestra Wives. What was the other uh, the other the movie other called? It was uh, Serenade. Oh, oh yeah. Um, or something Valley, Sunny oh, Valley. Oh, Sun Valley. Sun, Sun Valley, Valley Serenade. Sun Valley Serenade. Yeah, that's the other Glenn Miller movie. I have trouble remembering which songs which movie. I gotta watch that's them again. Sun Valley Serenade. You're watching Lounge Academy. Which? And so are we. My name's Howard, I'm your host. Whoever's sending me messages, you're being heard all around the world with your ding. But I can't, I'm sorry, I can't share right now. Nephew Jeremy Barone, who jumps in the snow without clothes on. Great today. He would. He'd be great for ratings. It's a perfect Here's one that Tina's going to help me sing. Okay. You <laughs> made me leave my happy schoolhouse. <laughs> you took my love and now you're gone. Since I fell on your sidewalk, <laughs> we try to make these topical. Oh, bring such misery and pain. I know I'll never be the same as I die awake. Since I fell on account of you. That's why I bought 1,800 pounds of salt this week. It's too bad. It's too sad. That I'm in love with you. You love me. Of me. Oh, what can I do? I'm still in love with you. I, I guess I'll never see the light. I didn't see the light. I get the booze most every night. not the booze since I fell for you. Thank you, Mr. Sellers, sir. Yes. Yeah. 
am I? It's nice to see Jackie Z, ladies and gentlemen. You really did that Thank you, Tina. Tina's wonderful to play for. She understands the pain of the creative process. It's great having you here, Tina. You just, you just bring it up. How many notches does Tina bring? Bring it up. Ten. Ten. That's what I was thinking. Well, work on that. You'll, you'll get there. Somebody loves me. I've got more poses I'm going to bring down here. I wonder who. I wonder who. Who she can be. Somebody loves me. I wish I knew who she can be. Worries me for every girl that passes me. I shout out. To be my loving baby, somebody loves me. I wonder who maybe it's you. his mustache. Jackie Z is here, ladies and gentlemen. Try to act nonchalant. I was ready to go out because I was out of the past couple days. We got some big big lounge cadets on the way down as well. I just I just heard. So stick around ladies and gentlemen. There's a somebody I'm longing to see. I hope that he goes to Lounge Academy. Someone will watch over me. I'm a little lamb. Who's lost in the woods? I know I could always be good to one who watch over me.
Would you tell him, please, to put on some to speak? Oh, my weak, oh, how I need someone who'll watch, watch Lounge Academy. W-B-I-G. That's from OK by George and Ira Gershwin. Thank you, Tina. It's great to see Jackie. Lounge Academy. It's great that the uh, showbiz people could come over after their shows and feel they can feel themselves here at Lounge Academy. Even though we're streaming live, people are watching in bed. With their jammies on. With their pajamas. Maybe we should market some pajamas, some Lounge Academy pajamas. With donuts. With the donuts. Flaps. With donuts. Could be gold and blue like our lounge academy really nice uh, logo here. Like a moss or a little brighter moss. Sometimes I'm happy. Sometimes I'm more. Some my disposition. Depends on you. I never minded the rain from the skies. If I could find the sun in your eyes, sometimes I love you, sometimes I hate you. But when I hate you, it's on account I love you. That's how I am, so what, what can I do? I'm happy when I'm with you. Sometimes I love you, sometimes I hate you, but when I hate you, it's on account of I love you, that's how I am, so what, what can I do, I'm happy when I'm at Big Blue, I'm happy when I'm there. I'm not. I hate you. She was great. She had that stone. Yeah, she always had the stone doing that. Which isn't always a good thing, but she worked it. Soon, the lonely nights will be ended. Soon, two hearts as one. Happiness I've waited for. The only girl that I've been fated for. Soon a little cottage will find us safe with all the cares far behind us. This day comes soon. 
Oh, we look happy to will find us safe. With all the cares far behind us, the day your mind, the world will be in tune. Let's make this day come soon. Let's make this day come soon. We're here at Lounge Academy. We've got a really nice, really nice, relaxing evening around the piano. Great conversation. Surrounded by performers, artists, creative people of all types here and at home. And my friends and I got together and walked over cars and stuff. You walked over cars? Yeah, there were cars buried on the street. It's going to be summer one of these years. There was a huge snow. Remember that teacher you had the house for? This is a song about by Ellen and Marilyn Bergman with music by Michelle Legrand, who we unfortunately lost this week. And here's one of his tunes. Real genius in, in our time. What a, what a team, the team off with Ellen and Marilyn. My mom just tells me how my This is from the summer of 42. At the For Michelle Legrand. Well, it's not a sentimental group around here, ladies and gentlemen, but, but Michelle Legrand meant a lot to me. I love his songs. So glad he gave them to us. The summer smile. The summer knows. One is she. Sheds her clothes, the summer smooth, the restless sky, and lovingly she warms the sand when she lies. Summer knows, the summer's wine. The doubt in your eyes, and so she takes the summer time, tells the moon to wait, and the sun to linger, to whisper round her summer.
funny we're all wired so I'm discontented. Homes that are rented. So I haven't rented my home. Darling, this place is a lover's oasis. Life's weary chase is unknown. Well, we better than this where you Far from the cry of the city. Where flowers pretty caress the street. Cozy to hide in. To live side by side in. Let it abide in my dreams. Picture you on my knee, just tea for two and two for tea. Me for you and you for me. Whoa. Nobody near us to see us or near us. No friends or relations on weekend vacations. We won't have it known, dear, that we own a telephone. Dear, day will break. And you'll awake and start to bake a big old sugar cake for me to take for all the boys to see. For you and a coil for me. Can't you see how happy we are at Lounge Academy? Vincent Yeoman and Oiving Caesar. Here's, here's one for the people that live in schoolhouses. Must be great to live in a schoolhouse, Mary. Yeah, to live in a
Yeah, it's us. Oh. <laughs> I got a lot of Yeah, that's what I thought. Who's talking to us? It's the twilight zone. Is anybody out there? Give us a thumbs up if you're. You got your pajamas on. Even if you don't. Well. I keep digging myself in deeper. Sabers down. Four to one, ladies and gentlemen. You're getting sports here at Mount Academy. They might. Lots of times the Sabres, when they lose, they come over here. <laughs> they will cheer them up. Did you say <laughs> I've got a lot Let to learn? <laughs> Don't you <laughs> think <laughs> I'm trying not to learn? Since this is the perfect place the Lounge Academy to learn. <laughs> teach me, teach me tonight. Starting with the ABCs of it. Right down to the XYZs of it. Help me solve the mystery. Teach me, teach me tonight. The sky is a big old black boy high above you. If a shooting stars go by, I'll use that star to write I love you. A thousand times across the sky One thing isn't very clear, my love Should the teacher stand so near, my love Graduation's almost here, my love Teach me tonight Confirming it's, it says it's four to two now. The Sabres scored. Now they're only they're only uh, getting uh, yes yeah, four to two.
Just Good imagine question. music, the National Association of Music Education. Is that what you teach, Rich? Do you teach music? Do I teach music? Yeah. Sometimes I could. That certain feeling The first time I met you I hit the ceiling I could not forget you You were completely sweet Oh, what could I do? I wanted phrases to sing your praises to <laughs> that certain feeling the one that they call love no one's concealing I've got what they call love now we're together let's find out whether you've got that feeling Feeling that feeling too. First one song. certain feeling the one they call love no use concealing I've got what they call love now we're together let's find out whether you're feeling that WBIG feeling too Yeah, and James Ingram. That's right, George Kunz. UB is up by eight at the half. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I can deliver you poetry and I like to recycle lyrics and then include them with my own. So until we have some music, here is the poem thingy. <clears throat> moment to moment, all we have is this. Expect nothing, do something, follow your bliss. Do you really want to hurt me? You can't hurt me. Suck my kiss. <laughs> it's like this and like that and like this and uh. <laughs> I got a whole lot of love, love, love. And I'm going to keep continuing this long thing and then like try to remember it one day. But like it came, it came, um... It unraveled from the moment to moment part. So, okay, so I'm still waiting for another gentleman to set up some music. What is your name again with the Bills hat? Richard, but I'm going to pass. It's a tough act to follow. <laughs> Richard is imagining music right now. He's saying it's a tough act to follow, but I don't know. Um, here we go. I was at Perks earlier, and we were writing some poetry. And then I wrote something there, and I, um, I'm 
going to like uh, include it with something else from another day. I don't have a bill's head on anymore. It's confusion. Can others notice the space between our thoughts of where and when separation took place? Paradise is within us. A reaction to the outside, expressing our true feelings. And then I'll add on our face. That's not written here, but openness, honesty from the inside, letting go of fear, worry, or trying to hide. And then, yeah, one of the suggestions was mask. So I love mask, but can't wear that mask forever. So yeah, so like yeah. being here in a live atmosphere, you cannot wear the mask anymore, right? Are you talking about mask with Cher or the mask with Jim Carrey? <laughs> I'm talking about like neutral, <laughs> neutral white mask or like even like if we're on social media, we have another mask, right? Okay, Ryan. Right. There was a mask on social media. That's true. <laughs> Jackie's right. Yes. This is Ryan, everybody. He's from WNED. <laughs> that has a ring to it. it. <laughs> you need some music to go along with this. Can you play? No, but. Oh, can we both play? Well, you just have to go with the flow. <laughs> and then it sounds like we planned it. Yeah. This was not planned. <laughs> Since we don't have anyone to play the piano, you know. Yeah. You may do. <laughs> My Fair Lady. <laughs> wait, okay, wait, okay, so... Do you know Nirvana? I know Nirvana. I don't know how to play Nirvana on the piano. Okay, I can't remember all the lyrics, but here's like what I was supposed to sing the other day. Okay, so, okay. Which song? Come As You Are. Oh, As You Were? As You Want Me To Be. <laughs> as a friend? As a trend? As an old memory, yeah. Memory, yeah. Memory, memory, come as. Wait, what's the Something, next? Something uh, doused in oh, bleach. Doused in, is it mud or muck? Run a muck. Doused in muck, doused, doused in something, doused in bleach. Topped in coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue to preach. Maybe pick a different Nirvana song. Okay. Um. <laughs> I can't think of it. This is a, a, an avant-garde performance. At Load up on guns and bring a friend. It's fun to fight and to pretend a little word and so unsure and no I'm not a dirty word. Hello, 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 hello. With the lights out, it's less dangerous. Here we are now, entertainers. <laughs> at the studio. 
and a bino, a mosquito, my libido. Is anyone watching us? Because <laughs> if they are, they, uh, <laughs> they're probably not watching us anymore. Yeah, don't, yeah, okay. So yeah, like, watching. I always feel like somebody's watching me. <laughs> we will, we will watch you. <laughs> Let's see, what else do we know? <laughs> there was a great lounge academy selection. Okay, okay, so Nate, okay, so I was also gonna like sing like these songs with people um, the other day, uh, yeah, yesterday, but then it was canceled, so we're gonna do it again. Um, do you remember Ellis and Chains? Yeah. <laughs> Good old Lane Staley, may he rest in peace. Yeah, I, I love the. One of the, I don't know how it goes, but it's like the Sea of Sorrow song. And it's like something, dun, dun, dun. By Soundgarden. Which one? Uh, my oh, wave. <laughs> the, well, the, oh, the... look, Howard's back. Okay, good. <laughs> well, that was great, kid. <laughs> I feel like I've stolen it. Now back to regular television programs. Yay. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you, sweetheart. Well, that had some nice, uh, some nice ele elements to it. Yes, it did. <laughs> oh, the harmonica's check, out. Check <gasps> the harmonica's out. Richie, you want the uh, piano? You're going to do a song? Okay. I'm not sure what you have You're planned here. Play I'm going to play the piano. This will have to be an R&D. <laughs> okay. That was fun. Research and development. Well, we All right. Yeah, you were. Plan on studio. George, we got it under control, sort of. George who? George Kunz. Mary's, Mary's uh, famous brother. Is this a blues uh, progression? I hope. No. Oh, you did? 
I wish I had a red in the hand. Look at the three art events. I had a brand new tenant. Famous cartoonist is with us here at the piano. His name is David Corbin. I'll bring you a cartoon. I brought my cartoon paper with me. He's drawing cartoons right here on the show, ladies and gentlemen. I want to get cartoon um, You might be able to see this on the uh, on the hair cam. You'll see uh, famous cartoonist Dave Corbin. Uh, actually, yeah, you can see right above the top of the screen. You can see his here. When, where's your head? There it is. It's a blank piece of paper. We could all see it's blank, and it's going to have a. Uh, one of his signature cartoons on it very soon. Now, Rich, Richie's doing something here. He's, he's work, working on a new song. It's Mission Impossible. You got some good uh, stuff going on there, Richard. G. F sharp to the breaks here. I'll show you where they are. It goes like this. Listen to the listen to how I do this. Because right. I know you're the maestro. No, I mean, I mean this I probably isn't going to work out. you here with me. Close enough you are near to me. Hold me. Kiss me. So I can say I'm yours and you're mine. Nice. Take a look. I'm on the hook over you. So come on, be real. You know how I feel. So much my love. So much my love. We'll do it beat style. My new song. Keep it going, man. We got we got the groove going now. I have you here with me. Close enough you are near to me. Hold me, kiss me, so I can oh. say I'm yours and you're mine. Take a look. I'm on the hook. Over you. you. So come on, be real. You know how I feel. So much my love. So much my love. It's nice, Reggie. I think that song you got going there. It's like some Bobby Troop would write. I like that. Yeah. Out the yeah. I'd like to. Thank you. Yeah, I Richie Sellers giving us a taste of a new uh, there you go, buddy. A new tune he's working up and I got pretty much oh, universal oh. approval here. Oh, the Lounge Academy. It's worth more if he signs it and dies. Someday this will be worth a dollar. Hey, it'll be on my uh, mantle at home. I had a girl in Alex Leonard. Alex Leonard likes uh, Richie Summers. Huh? And I'm not surprised. Alex doesn't like him when I give away without him. He still is just what he's listening to. Here's 
one for Alex Leonard. They all laughed at Christopher Columbus. Thank you, Mr. Corbin. World was round. They all laughed when Edison recorded sound. Who hasn't been laughed at? They all laughed at Wilbur and his brother when they said that man could fly. They sold Marconi, wireless was phony, and it's the same old cry. They laughed at me, wanting you, said I was reaching for the moon. Oh, you came through, now they'll have to change their tune. They all said that never could be happy, they all laughed and said how. Oh, who's got the last laugh now? Mark Weber. Mark Weber, do you know Alex Leonard? Do you guys know each other? You should. You'd really dig what each other uh, does. Mark's down in Boca. You're a smart man. Alex Leonard's laughing. He's laughing now. Everyone laughs. This heart of mine. Heart of mine, something, something. This heart of mine was doing very well. The world was fine, as far as I could tell. Suddenly I met you, and I dreamed of gay amour. Dawn, I woke up singing. Sentimental overture, this heart of mine is dancing gaily now, like taste the wine of real romancing now. This world is taking on a wonderful design as long as life endures towards this heart of mine. Heart of mine is dancing gaily now. I taste the wine of real romancing now. This crazy world has taken on a wonderful design. As long as life endures, it's yours. This heart of mine. This heart of mine. Gary Warren and Arthur Freed. It's a great song from Siegfried Follies. 
Jane would dig the Siegfried Follies. It's almost hard to say that. We're global, Mark Weber. Who would have thought? Yeah, from Boca Raton. Boca Raton. Where Mark is home. How warm is it? And you know what it is. Tina wants to know. Are there stars in the sky? Are there stars in the sky? And Mark Weber, you're the guy. You know, Boca Raton is Mouse's Mouth. Oh, is that what that means? Literally. Wow. Mouse's Mouth. Mark Weber, did you see it? Throw that around down there. See if, see if the natives down there know that uh, Boca Raton, according to Ryan, means mouse's mouth. Some people think it's rat's mouth, but raton is mouse and rat is rat. Okay, okay. It's not rat, it's mouse. Nothing wrong, nothing against rats. In case there's any in the audience. This isn't sometimes. This is Lounge Academy. This isn't maybe. This is always. This is love. The real beginning of forever. Sounds like one of Jackie Z's compositions. Right? Very hip. <laughs> this is in midsummer madness. A passing goal, a moment's madness. Yes. It's love. I knew it from the night we met. You tied a string around my heart. So how can I forget you? With every kiss, I know that this is always That's such a hipster sounding song. How ahead of the time was that? 1946. Do you know what I saw today in my travails? No. You know, you know, I was kind of sliding up and down the side streets, which there wasn't a lot of traffic, thank God, because one side of the street was okay. Yeah, they're the narrow, the streets. Street like, wow. Um, a skidoo. It was coming down Hodge, and out of Children's Hospital parking lot, and he's right that behind. was a good sound effect. <laughs> no, that was great. Oh, you can hear. I would expect like, to see that in Riverside, but not over there. <laughs> on Hodge. Wow. Okay, so he's right behind. Might have been me. rescuing. Oh, okie dokie. How about if I just pull over and let you have the whole territory? Go oh, right ahead. Let me get out you of your way. Just like, let me watch you. And so I did. And he you went didn't all the way up. <laughs> So he gets up to Delaware, and through Delaware, um, he cuts right across Delaware onto the sidewalk in front of this, the, um, really? uh, the Baptist church. Okay. He goes mean? up the driveway and down the sidewalk. Okay. And at the Baptist yeah. church, okay. he gets down the parking lot onto you. Linwood. So no. I go all the way home, I'm coming around to Linwood. And here's I'm at the same time with Brian and Linwood. He goes zooming down the opposite side wow. of the street. See, those things must be great, you know. When you think about it, when it's really crippling snow, to be able to just go zoom around like nothing, like a fish. He must have been in the bike path. That's what it was. Yeah. Everywhere, like nice. Especially at Christmas time. Yeah. You know. No, I think that like. Hi, Jody. Jody Weber's out there, ladies and gentlemen. Conveniently, when she's with Mark Weber, who she's married to, and they're at the beach, Boca Raton. 
That's really swell, Mark. Kiss me, Jody. Hold my hand. Ba -da -da. Feel so rich. A hut for two. Two rooms and kitchen. I'm sure would. I would not so out of land. How witty, how grand. I think no one's going to call me a liar if I said I never played that one before. Thou swell, the witty. Thou sweet, kiss me pretty, hold my hand, both an eyes are cute to what they do to me, hear me how I choose sweet olive in thee. She doesn't know it, and I'm, I'm sure I'm right. It's the, not, people don't know this one, but it's actually big. Back around 1930. Time on my hands. You in my arms. Nothing but love. time in my hands. You, then if you fall, once and for all, I'll see my dreams come true. Moments to spare for someone you care for. One love affair for two. With time on my hands and you in my arms and love in my heart all for you you have to use your imagination a little bit it actually makes sense if it's done right how about a psych home in tune? Something like that, but maybe just like I'm so glad you know that. It is, it's a very cozy group in April. Yeah, 
Happy Polar Vortex back to you from the in-house lounge cadets to the in their own house lounge cadets. Send some hearts back. I'm sentimental. So I walk in the rain. I've got some habits. Even I can't explain. Turn up in Spain. Why try to change me now? I'll sit and daydream. I've got daydreams galore. Cigarette ashes. There they go on the floor. I'll go away weekends. Leave the keys in the door. Why try to change me? Why can't I be more conventional? People talk, people stare, so I try. That's not for me, cause I can't see my kind of crazy world. Go passing me by. So let people wonder, let them laugh, let them frown, you know I love you, till the moon's upside down, don't you remember, I was always your clown, why try to change me, why? Try to change me. Why try to change me now? Here's 
one we never do. What's new? I love the whole thing. How can you do that just out of the blue? How is the world? You haven't changed a bit. Love we as ever, I must admit. What's new? How did that romance come through? But it's great to see you again. Mary, what's your word? You're the pig. You're the pig. You're the pig. What's new? Pardon my asking. What's new? But seeing you. Offer a hand. I understand. I do. Pardon my asking. What's new? I haven't changed. I still love you so. Song called What's New? What's New Pussycat? Watching Lounge Academy. Thank you, Alex Leonard. Oh, Dave Corbett's out there. Yeah, it's a it's a great song. I don't know if we've we've got it in our in our things. Uh, should I look in here under Alley Cat? Somebody else asked for that recently, and I'm glad you reminded me because I'm gonna get a hold of it. Yeah, well, no, no, simple's fine. Uh, you know, uh, you could always complicate something. Do you know of <laughs> Bohemian Rhapsody? I used to. I used to when I was a teenager. I had, I had the music for it and I learned it. Delicate that. song, 22. It's in here. But oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. Would you like me to present it to you? Yeah, I would. So find it on your lower left. All right, thank you, sir. Welcome to the Benny Hill Show, ladies and gentlemen. Right? That's a, the Benny Hill show used yeah, that all the time. The I'm waiting for those girls to come out. <laughs> That's a great one. He ruined it. He ruined that song. It's like all you can think about is. He goes on the prowl each night. Like an alley cat. Like an alley cat. She can't trust him out of sight. There's no doubt of that. He's 
just don't know wrong from right, like an alley cat. Like Lounge Academy. Well, I don't know if it was his theme song, but he, he used it in a lot of his bits. I'm sure he did. He'd, he'd walk out there, like pantomime. He'd walk out, like, with some setup, and they'd be playing, and then those girls would come out, and they'd be the nurse or something, and something would go horribly wrong at that point. <laughs> Here's one from Mary Grace, from Melissa Grace. I think I'll, I think instead I'll do this one for you. the craziest dream last night yes I did I never dreamt it could be but there was Tina in love with me I saw her lips next to mine so I stuck a donut in her she didn't mind it at all. When I'm awake, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you care, then please, please say you do, my baby. Say it and make my crazy dreams come true.
I did. I never dreamt it could be. There you were in love with me. I saw your lips next to mine, so I kissed them. You didn't mind it at all. When I'm awake, such a break never happens. How long can a guy go on dreaming? If there's a chance that you care, then please say you do, my baby. Say it and make my, make my crazy dreams true. Say it and make my crazy dreams all true. Seems so real. Thank you. What a great, great audience of show business professionals. They're the best people to play for. Songs, there's so many songs. Thank you, Melissa. You and me. We want it at all. We want it at all. Passion without pain. Sunshine without rainy days. We want it at all ways. You and me. We reach for the sky. The limit was high. Never giving in. Knowing we could win a prize. I should have seen it in your eyes. Look. Look how all our dreams. See how I've got me, and baby, I've got you. Through it all, just one thing died a little thing called love. Something deep inside you and me. We weren't like the rest. Were the best back when we were dumb. How did we become so smart and learn to break each other's hearts? Look how our dreams came true. See how I've got me. Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best Look what we've become Isn't it a crying shame That we almost made it
Thank you, Tina. And it's like, oh, 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 oh
the simple secret of the pot is just to tell them that I love you the wax and the world discovers when my book ends how to make two lovers a friend changed a lot of things. I cover the Buffalo waterfront. I'm watching the sea for the one I love coming back to me. I cover the waterfront in search of my love and the covered by a starless sky above. Here am I, patiently waiting, hoping and longing. Oh, how I yearn. Where are you? Are you forgetting? Do you remember? Will you return? I cover the waterfront. I'm watching the sea. The one I love must soon come back. To me, oh, well, thank you, Tina. Uh, do you want me to give you something to wet your whistle? I could probably use a couple more tablespoons of this. At your service. Look at this. Wait, wait, wait. I get to oh, turn the bottle. Ready? Yeah, that's... Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, I remember. It's beautiful. Thank you, Tina. I can't give you anything but love. My baby, that's the only thing I find it out. My little bitty baby, dream of wilds, we're sure to find happiness, and I'll guess all those things, always pine for cheap. I'd like to see you looking swell, my baby, diamond braces, Woolworth doesn't sell. My baby, till that lucky day you know darn well, 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 baby, I can't give you anything but
looking swell, my baby. Diamond bracelets, diamond bracelets, Woolworth doesn't sell, my baby. Oh, that lucky day, oh darn well, 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 baby. I can't give you anything but love, my baby. I can't give you anything but love. Thank you. Great audience. We're only a few people here tonight. Where's who tonight? Paul. Um, I don't know. He hasn't checked in. He must be. Uh, maybe maybe he's working or, or something. Of course, usually then he checks in. He must have something really uh, keeping his attention. I didn't know what time it was then I met you. Oh, what a lovely time it was, how sublime it was too. I didn't know what day it was you held my hand. Warm, like the month of May it was, and I'll say it was grand. Grand to be alive and be young, man, man, Grand to see your face, feel your touch, hear your voice, and I'm all you owe. What year it was, life was no prize. I wanted love, and here it was shining out of your eyes. I'm wise, and I know what time it is now. Rogers and Hearts. Recently, and nobody, nobody has ever read the lyrics before, including me. It's grisly. What's up, Buttercup? This is politically correct. Like, if you want, um, 
Uh-oh. I knew why you have to do all of this. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. You you help me. Cheers, everybody. February first. Great time. February first, everybody. Here's the ice. Yay, darling. Thank you. Yeah. Here's to everybody at home. Everybody at home, raise your glasses. Or your cat or dog. I love that movie. I do too. I love that movie. Dancing in the dark. Dancing in the dark, and it soon ends. We're waltzing in wonder. Why we're here? Time hurries by. We're here and gone. Schwartz wrote it. Uh -huh. I got a feeling it was a Fred Astaire tune. A lot of them were. Ooh, yeah, that, I can see that. He dances overhead on my ceiling near my bed. Darling, I 
Speaking. That was a great word. <laughs> Thank you. It's a good. It's a good word. How do you spell it? Propinquity. Oh, propinquity. Propinquity. child to play through the meadow west oh, oh sing door door marks never more that wasn't there before Just a passing filled with memories of a golden smile that introduced me to the days of wine and roses. Lounge Academy, He's so cute. where we sit around the piano and do songs. Yeah. I don't Put know. it in a kind of a it's nutshell, right? Sometimes we have nutshells. Oh, she's big. She's big. I like the little ones. 
somebody brings pistachios. I'd like to thank Jackie Z for making tonight's really special appearance here. Thank you for having me. I like all the electronics. Entertainer. Jackie Z, you can see her all over town. Clowning around. Embrace me. My sweet embrace of yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, embrace me. My sweet embrace of you. Just one look at you, my heart grows tipsy in me. And you won't bring out the gypsy in me. I love all the many charms about you. Above all, I want my arms about you. Come to Papa do my sweet embrace. change it to profile, right? Oh, now like, Personal okay. profile. What? It's like your home page. Facebook. MySpace. MySpace is coming on strong. Oh. A foggy day. Museum. 
had lost its charm How long I wonder Could this thing last? The age of miracles Had come and passed For suddenly I Saw you there Foggy London town The sun was shining over there, a nice day in Buffalo town it had me low on a counter. I fell on the ground. I viewed the morning with alarm. On a counter, they didn't close my job. How long I wonder could this driving van last? The age of miracles had come and passed when suddenly Mark Poland cows got on the radio in the icy Buffalo town. The sun was shining everywhere. Sun was shining everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So we can basically park anywhere right now because we're forgiven. That's right. Now the parking meters give you a quarter. Remember the time they found like hundreds of thousands of dollars in quarters? in the home of the guy that emptied the machines. Oh, 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 I didn't hear that. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. They were rigging the machines. They they figured out a way to like, yeah, let's put something quarters. in there so the quarters would put like, quarters. would fall out into the, into the outer casement of the machine instead of the coin box inside. And then, which, which he had access to. So people would be, the whole time, people would be putting money in, and it would, it would move the dial, but it would fall into the machine, you know. And then his box. Not his box. And, and how much yeah. for, for quarters. For quarters. It was hundreds of thousands of dollars. Was it? Hundreds. They found hundreds. Yeah, they, you know. Two boys, two men. Guys that worked for the. Parking, it was, it was their job to empty the money. Well, so yeah. the dining room table well, rolling quarters? I've got a hundred rolls of quarters. Can I drop Imagine them trying off? to hide that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they, they come by and collect frequently, I mean, it's at least once a week, it seems, because I see them, especially in the summer when I'm out there. And they have um, a guy in a car comes up in a vehicle with, like, a hand truck and a thing to put, to put it in. And then there's a... A marked police car following them. Just guys just sitting there, I don't know, doing reports or something. I, I, I assume it's to protect the guy from getting rolled himself, you know. But it's probably to watch him, too. Did you hear about Governor Cuomo on the freeway? He actually gave it himself personally, gave a guy a ticket. So what the hell you know about the freeway? I saw him standing next to a truck, like yeah. chewing some guy out. He was really on a roll the last couple of days. Several doctors in my book. I like that. Yeah, I mean, that is, who would, you know, take notice of that? Not every day again. Brian, I'm just taking a moment. Give it. 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 Give
So, so that that. How the hell do you know that word? Howard, you're older than. Explain. Did you just make it up? Yeah, I just made it up. That's impressive. I don't believe in fretting or grieving. Oh, Why dig like out around with strife? Okay. All right. And. I was never cut out to step out or strut out. Give me the simple life. Some find it pleasant, dining and pheasant. Those things just roll off my knife. Give me tomatoes and mashed potatoes. I love potatoes. Give me the simple life. A cottage small is all I'm after. One that's spacious and wide. House that rings with joy and laughter. On account of there's lounge academy inside. Some like the high road. I like the low road. Free from the care and strife. Sounds corny, seedy, and boring. Yes, indeedy. Give me Sweetie. the simple life. Can't, I cannot think of. So you know, I ordered, I ordered um, oh, okay. boxes from the. Okay. I ordered boxes from the post office. They didn't deliver them today. Bye today. And get all the money out of. That box will work. Those are the handiest boxes. And every every oh, key. Man. Whatever you need, brother. I'm getting my blues legs on. I haven't had these out since the last time I played two weeks ago. Wow. But the chromatic I play every night. Your cartoons are delivered. Oh, come on. There's a TV. I guess there'd have to be, since the word doesn't apply to anything else. I don't know what made me think of that. That's the weird part. I know. Where did they you only work? ask for one word, and you're like 85,000. Oh, listen, listen. Uh, yeah, very good. Boy, any word, he comes up with it. Yeah. You've got, you got, got the vocabulary, I love it. <laughs> well, those are the only two words I know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. I got one name that tune coming up. Oh, you do? Yep, we'll see if you can name this tune. Okay. And you win one free drink. Where? On the house. It's time for the Blues Review here on here we go. B.I.G. <laughs> Any key you want, because I'm equally horrible. In Pop by 
the sailor men. Sammy, Sammy, what's his last name? Sam that wrote that song. His name's Sam, um, Sammy Stir or something? Sammy Spear? No. The orchestra know, leader? Sammy Spear, no. Sammy Kahn? That's a great song, Pop by the Sailor Man. Should we just make up a song, Richie? Let's go. What Should we do one of our originals? Let's do an original. Key of what? Key of Z. I'm going to do F. Play. F is fine. I'm right with you. Give me a song. Give me. Uh, I'll, we'll, we'll, I'll try your way. What, what's this blues song going to be about? What? Give me a couple words that this blues song is about in, in just a couple of word, word or two. Uh, 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 pick up truck. Kill my dog. What is it? Okay. Ready? Okay, I'll start it off. I woke up this morning, yeah. hit my dog with my truck. Oh. I said I got up this morning, yeah. I ran over my dog with my truck. Oh. He was a good dog, and he cost me half a buck. Oh. Tell him about it, Richie. Gaza. I 
Sellers. On the base. How did you do that? I don't know. The genius. Genius. Yeah. I wonder if Dee Gowser's ever been used in a song. Uh, in a porno song. Yeah. Well, that was a good. Not really, for those who not with me. Uh, they weren't. They were sleeping in their pajamas. They missed out. Yeah, that's true. Very creative lyrics. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this? Sweet is this?
sellers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, everybody. Nobody blows harp. Nobody can de gauze a harp like Richie Sellers. Richie, Richie, Richie. De Awesome. The last time I was in a competition, I finished second. What? So it was like a winner, and then everyone else finished second. It was great. Good going. The winner you was like this. Top dollar girl that went on to sing with the Philharmonic Opera or something. She was really good. Wow. And she played hard. She played, um, Can I say? She played with, um, I think, a, a, an, an opera by um, Debussy. She won. No, was it Debussy or was it? Debussy. Debussy. I think it was Debussy. One more clean sheet of paper. Thank you, Howard. Well, thank you, Richie. I enjoyed that. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you better be here. See what you remember this one. It's from the movie Shaft. Don't misunderstand. Dawning, sleepy and yawning, still the taste of wine. Then I remember your mind, and I've got a world that's fine. What's before me? Routines that bore me, punch that clock at eight. But what a lucky guy I am 
I've got a woman that's great. Adam Bounds, Cape Canaveral, and Fossil Wines. Half the universe is up in arms. So I flip a wheel and to holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that sweet. I'd like to take you on a wild, wonderful adventure. Fly like a kite from space, no strings. I don't want to lose that bell that rings Cause I've got a world that swings I've got the world on a string Sitting on a rainbow Tied the string round my finger The string reminds me of mine and I've got a world that swings Adam Bonds Cape Canaveral and Fossil Pines the universe is up and on, so I flip a little too until I'm holding you. What's the hassle? I'll buy the castle. We can live like kings. If you remember your mind, then I've got a world that you've got a world that we got a world that swings. A world that swings. We've got a world that swings. Buddy Love made that song famous. He was the best. What's his name? Buddy Love. Best lounge act ever. There's a saying, oh, says that love is blind. Still we're often told, seek and ye shall find. So I'm going to seek a certain land. I have in mind. To my heart, she carries the key. 
because in 14 minutes Facebook is going to cut us off. They have a four hour limit and then they just left and then Facebook cuts us off.
Mark Russell. Mark Russell. Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Russell oh, Russell 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 Russ
was Johnny Mercer and Henry Mancini. Did Perry Como write anything? Yeah. I know he was a great singer. Everybody, Mary's gonna shout out the words. Oh, Moon River, Moon River, wilder than a mile. I'm crossing you in style someday. Is going your way, Ooh, drifters off to see the world. Such a lot of world to see. Come on, everybody. Then I guess it is wise to be cruel. 